right, so here's my uh, take on a, a naive subtitle creator. And I say naive because it completely relies on Google Translate, um, the capacities of Google Translate. And so sometimes it's, it's pretty solid and other times it's, it's not so great. So let's say you have, you know, some video here. I just got this One Punch Man video. That's it. Um, nothing really crazy going on there. I'm not sure if you can hear this audio or not. Okay, so let's say you have this video and you want to run it. I'm going to run it once and then I'm going to go through the code and then I'm going to try it with a uh, longer video. So the way that this works is you have to input a folder right now. Um, I was going to make a GUI for it, but I still need to test out some of the kinks, so I'm still going to be working on that. So. What it does is it uses, well, let's just do it first. Okay, whatever, you don't really care yet uh, until you see the, the final product. So that, that file is in videos, uh, is where the folder is. And so I just have a couple print statements just for me to look at. So we write to audio, um, basically it's gonna clip it, it's gonna send it to Google Translate. Right now I have it on a timer for three seconds. Um, that's just because I was worried that Google Translate would try to throw me away. Now I'm not sure if you could if you could hear the uh, the audio there, but this is this is basically the whole thing. Um, I mean, it's it's pretty perfect. Uh, and then it prints it all out. Okay, so then here's the subtitle file. So it prints out the subtitle. And another thing to note is that with this, I don't know how to print it out such that. Um, it's going to have the timestamp. And the reason why is because, okay, well, first off, I try to do it. Google Translate actually does have timestamps, but you have to have a paid account. And I'm a college student, and I'm not going to be paying for that. Uh, so I looked at other things. I couldn't find anything that worked. Also, um, another thing, and, and this isn't the, the reason why this won't work, is that to use Google Translate's API, you have to send, I think it's like 10 megabytes each time. So you basically have to cut down your audio file to around a minute. Now, I've done 30 seconds just to be safe. Um, and so if you do that, it becomes harder to find the timestamps because then you have to have like a running time, right? Of each of your 30 second stamps because you can't just say, oh, well this, in this 30 second stamp, it's, it's you know, second 20. But what 30 second stamp of like a 20 minute show is it? If that makes sense. Like, is it the second one? Well, then it's not just second 20. Um, Anyway, just for simple uh, ease of ease of thing, ease of thing, ease of like showing you guys, I just have the same file here thrice, right? So this is just me being lazy. Imagine different files in here. Um, basically, it can do the same exact thing for each of the files. So let's do let's do the same exact thing for uh, test folder. I think it was right. Okay, so as you can see, it creates a subtitle file for each one. It's not just uh, the same, well, I mean, it, because I chose the same video. But what I'm trying to say is it'll create one for each file in there. So let's go through the code here real quick just so you guys can see what I did. Like I said, this is naive. So the idea is that you have a decent audio clip. Uh, and the reason why is because if you do something like we're gonna check out um, JoJo in a second here, like a uh, test show, I think. The first episode of JoJo, like there's audio, there's music, and, and you know, as, as they're talking, it becomes difficult to, for the Google Translate to understand it. So let's just go through real quick on how this works. So I have this Master Translate class, that's not really the most important thing. Um, so let's look at scrape episode scraper. Uh, so again, it's just gonna be basically, you're, you're getting the text from each part of the episode. And so this, what this is gonna do is this is gonna you know scrape the episodes, but how does that work? Okay, so you go into audio visual recognizer or video recognizer rather, and so what this does, uh, I have this here just for fun. I'm probably just gonna delete it. But the GitHub should be more pretty than than what this is. This is just kind of like the concept video. What this does is it's going to basically um, if it's a video file, right? If it's not a video file, don't have to worry about it. But if it is a video file, we have to convert it into an MP MP3 uh, and then throw it into this. Temp fat audio. I'm going to change this name because both of these were uh, just kind of temporary ideas. Basically, it throws into a folder, right? And then from that folder, that MP3 file, what it's going to do is it's going to split up the MP3 into 30 second chunks. So, what that is, is you go into Audio Dicer here and it goes into 
th this part I basically just looked on Stack Overflow because I wasn't sure how, how the PyDub library works. This uh, helps you work with audio. Um, so basically what this will do is it'll cut up your audio into 30 second chunks. That's why it does a, uh, I think there's like a math dot ceiling, yeah, here. So it's gonna cut up into 30 second chunks so you can throw it into Google Translate. Now another thing that I tried to do is that I noticed that with varying degrees of success, if you slow down the audio a little bit, Google Translate sometimes has a better time recognizing. Um, I found for, for JoJo, it kind of worked. Honestly, I, I don't really, I, I, it's hard. It's hard for, for this to work because um, I'm only using Translate, right? Google Translate. So if there's any sort of, you know, talking over one another or any sort of uh, slurring or anything like that, which is very common in, in shows such as JoJo, um, it, Google Translate is just not gonna pick it up. So I tried slowing it down. That did have varying levels of success. So you might want to play around with this parameter here. Basically, if you put in 0.9, it's going to be, you know, 0.9 the speed or something like that. I haven't tried 0.9. I tried 0.7 and 0.8. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. So basically, that's what that's what that does. And then this thing. Uh, so so you have the audio file. You split it up into 30 second parts. It, it all goes into this folder. From those 30 second parts, you throw that into Google Translate. Um, that is going to work every, I think it was, I think I set it to three seconds, I wanna say. Um, where's transcribe here? Time dot sleep, yeah, three seconds. I'm not sure if I really need that. I wanted to be careful because the exceptions, um, I, I, I've known that Google can throw exceptions for like accessing something too quickly. Uh, that happened to me whenever I was trying to use their YouTube API. But uh, I don't know, I, I did three. Three seems to be a magic number. I could probably do two. I think Google can handle it. Um, so anyway, what this does is it's gonna read the, the split up WAV files because you can only read the, the WAV files. You can't just read the video. I haven't found out how to do that. Um, and then basically we're gonna try to find, uh, with these two try statements here, we're gonna try to find audio. And so if we can't find audio, then we're just gonna return basically um, a blank list because what this does is that this is just going to add to your your master words list um, although I probably could have just put like a self dot master words again in the github it'll probably be more pretty but it works right now uh, it, it works in the sense like Google Translate is doing its best <laughs> sometimes sometimes it's not perfect um, with the the clip that I showed just now it's it's pretty perfect uh, it, it was it's pretty good with Jojo, we're gonna try that out like right now. It's not so great. So hopefully I can find out how to, how to fast forward here because it takes around like 20 minutes. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into test show. This is only one show right now um, because it does take a while. And the reason why is because I, I, I can't speed up the Google Translate thing. Um, again, this is for more for a cleaner audio, but we're gonna try it with Jojo just to show you how it's gonna work with, with less clean audio. Um, but keep in mind, it's it's more for like very crisp audio. Um, maybe like if you were to look up on YouTube, um, I don't know, I, I'm doing Japanese because I do that. Like, it's like, uh, you know, books. So maybe if, if you wanted to get like the transcription of a book, that would be easier through this. Uh, another thing that I implemented in this is that it has a text Sensei. version. Well, <laughs> whoops, I'm playing this thing. It has a text version too. Um, I'm still working on that and so you could just throw in a, a text file or something and you could translate from uh, from Japanese to English or whatever right now I'm doing just Japanese to Japanese but this does have you know the potential to translate from you know one punch man Japanese to English or, or, or what have you but again it's relying completely on Google Translate so it's it's very naive in that sense so let's just try with Jojo um, so again, what it's gonna do is it's gonna chunk out this audio, uh, basically just make it into an MP3 file is what this is doing. Or sorry, uh, uh, .wav, did I say MP3 before? I meant, I think I meant .wav. Um, and so what that's going to do is it's gonna go right into here. And so when that happens, you should see pretty quickly a lot of files populate. Um, yeah, right there. <laughs> so these are split up .wav files and I have these accept cases. In the beginning, it's not gonna find the audio because of the intro. 
Um, and then this first part is from, let me see if I can play, I'm not sure if you can hear it. Uh, I think it's like around here. Maybe it's a little bit. Oh, okay, it's right here. I'm not sure if you can hear this, but I'm gonna put my mic right to it. Soto Soto Ko. Yeah, see? So that, that word was picked up right there. And that's within the first, I guess it's like the first around 30 seconds. Again, I, I changed it to, to 0.9 speed, so it's probably a little bit more. Um, and so what Google Translate's now doing is it's doing its best to figure out what's going on. Uh, yeah, so we're just gonna kind of wait for that. So I, I just got like the actual subtitle file and I wanna see how accurate uh, this is. Now this is a .ass file. So there's a lot more in here, like it's gonna say, okay, for each, basically anything that there's text in, it's also gonna appear underneath. Um, so like whenever it has like the staff and stuff like that, um, it's gonna appear. So there's gonna be more naturally. So we see Soto Soto so right here. Um, that does not appear, that does not appear. This is the next occurrence that Google Translate finds. Um, Okay, so it, I guess it finds, it finds koitsu, and then someone says kitana, and then someone says herikata da. So I think that's probably a uh, polnar or whatever his name is. So it catches this, it misses this, this two parts, but then it catches this, um, and then it says speed wagon side. So <laughs> interestingly, it finds that, it doesn't find helicopter. Okay. Um, the food. I don't think it finds that either. I don't think it finds the fool. Uh, but honestly, I'm not sure if Google Translate would know that that's like a thing. Let's look for Anji. Um, no. So, I mean, it is kind of... This is column 346, right, guys? And then we're going to go all the way to... So we're at 346. We have to go all the way to uh, 60. So I mean, you could do that math, but let's just, let's just put it on the screen. So three, four, six, minus 60. So it looks like 286 lines, and it matches around a little bit less than half of that. So again, naive, it's not gonna get everything with the sounds. Um, it does get a decent amount, but you just gotta be careful with uh, the quality of your tags, or, or the quality of your sound. Um, so I'm gonna keep on working on this and see if I can get any better. If anyone has any suggestions for uh, basically how to get timestamps on audio, please let me know, I, I just have no idea.